What's up YouTube? Justin here, back at it again. In today's video, I will be doing a oil change on the Ford F-250. Let's go ahead and do it. Alright guys, we start off by using my GoPro head mount. We're going to go ahead and start by draining the oil. Going to hop up under here. I've already warmed up the truck so we won't have any issues with it being extremely cold and having struggles with it all draining out completely. You always want to warm up your truck or car before an oil change, especially if it's a diesel. Uh, due to you want all the oil to drain out. Now it's not too hot, not too cold. I'm gonna do this just like so. Go ahead and drain all that oil out in this bucket here. It's a nice little five gallon Lowe's bucket. <clears> or <throat> Home Depot, sorry. Same thing. <laughs> but uh go ahead and clean these off. And put it back on later. Oh yeah, she's dirty. She had changed. Alright. So while that's draining, I'm gonna go ahead and charge the new oil filter. Probably should not be wearing a white shirt over here. Damn it. I will be taking off my shirt here in a second. I'll set you all down. This is a brand new white shirt and I'm already getting it dirty. As usual. Alright, set that down here. Put you guys back on my head here. I'm gonna go ahead and I picked myself up a bigger filter, a power stroke filter. Just because it's bigger, holds more oil. Then the ODI filter, which it's also the same exact thing, which is pretty neat. So I'm going to go ahead, charge it like so, get it all prepared and ready for me to swap it in. And they're the same thing, it's just one's bigger than the other. As far as I'm concerned, it's a 7.3, 7.3 power stroke. Just one's longer. Thread pitch should be the same. Just as far as I know. Shit. Alright. That's all ready. I'm gonna be careful with that. I'm gonna go ahead and use my good old trusty oil filter wrench. All ground is cold. Alright. And scoose this over a little bit. All oh, ground is freezing. It is frigid. Alright. Let's get this wrapped around there. There it goes. Let it leak out a little bit. We'll let it all leak out and then, cause I don't want it falling on my face or the GoPro. So. <sighs> Probably put the drain bolt back in and then put a new uh, Home Depot bucket in here just to prevent, if the oil filter does drop, it doesn't splash all over me and my face and my body. Like last time, it uh, unfortunately, all of the oil, because I dropped the oil filter, like a dum-dum straight into the bucket, it all just went all over me. Um, so that was very lovely. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and 
grab another Lowe's bucket and swap it out just because it's a better idea than getting my really nice GoPro all disgusting and because I don't have the waterproof case on it currently and also dropping it and getting it all over my body that's not very good very yummy it's not that diesel's poisonous or oil's poisonous or anything but I don't feel like getting extremely messy on my birthday so it is my 21st birthday today so not like it really matters but enough oil strained out I'll leave it I get dirty, it's all right. I'll probably use my other hand for that part. I'm gonna use this. Very careful here with it. There she goes. All right, got all that nasty, yucky old oil out of the way. Let's clean this up here. Clean my oil pan area up. It doesn't leak too much for an ODI, which is what surprises me, is we rebuilt this motor, like I think it was four years ago now, and I've put hella miles on this thing. like. I never towed heavy heavy with it, but I've towed with it before when I used to work for a company, small company, and uh, I also have driven it 2,000 miles to Florida. I've driven it all over Virginia and Maryland area. I mean, it's been it's been a long it's been a long time since I've had owned this truck, and uh, we've done a lot to it. We rebuilt the whole motor before we actually like put it registered it on the road and everything i bought this truck knowing we refurbished it and uh long story short and this truck has been great to me ever since we've had it it's been a very great reliable diesel i love the sound of it of course it's the five speed naturally aspirated which is always a lot of fun and uh yeah, no, she's been loyal, as most newer trucks are not, in my opinion, for the price you're paying for a diesel. You, you know, for a, a teenager, a young kid, or whatever that's got his first truck, I think that this is a great decision, being a 20-year-old, or 21-year-old now, excuse me. But uh, no, I think it's a, I think it was a great gift to get for a first truck. It's extremely fun. It's slow, don't get me wrong, it's extremely slow. But trucks aren't meant to go fast. They're meant to, they're meant to work. They're meant to last. You know, they're not meant to do burnouts, have fun, drift it. No, that's not what trucks meant for truck truck is meant for doing things with responsibility Tighten this filter now it doesn't need to be extremely tight but tighten it as tight as I can Oh, she fits right on there. Just I can't remember if I tightened that down a little. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. So everything's tight now. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and add the oil, and we'll be good to go. 
So that power stroke oil filter is pretty nice. Better than the the OE size Audi I1. Whoop. All right. Go ahead and get. Where is my funnel? There. It is. All right. Get my funnel here. Well, oh, of course, that's what's happening. It doesn't normally do that. Huh. Okay. That's good enough. Does that? I'm using a new funnel and it's not working like I expected it to. Let's see if I still have my old one. I think I still do. Cause that one's not working out too well. This garage is a mess. I need to actually sit down and clean it up sometime. I just choose not to because I'm lazy and parents aren't complaining about it right now, so <laughs> kind of get away with it a little bit. Let's let's swap this. This thing's a little silly. Go ahead and move this. I got my buckets out while it's draining. Look at that. It's all foamy too. Oh yeah, she was due for a change all right. Look at that. Oh, she's frothy, I don't know. I kind of overfilled it last time, so that kind of makes a lot of sense. <laughs> but, uh, let me go ahead and, I hey, forgot where I put this, shit. care about getting too messy put that there go ahead and put this in the video too because why not oh shit look how freaking i mean it's diesel so what do you expect right but oh shit that's yummy looking My exhaust also broke off, rusted out completely. So I have an exhaust guy I've been speaking to, but I have to wait because they're on back, back, uh, they have a wait list. So I have to wait until I can get it done. So I haven't been driving my truck as much lately due to that. Because, because of it being an NA diesel, it's already kind of loud how it is. Not extremely loud, just a louder diesel. So a louder diesel, so it's a little loud. But since it broke at the Y pipe, it's right under the cab. So for my on my end, it is extremely obnoxious, but it's also the rough part about it is it come the, all the exhaust fumes, all the all the smoke comes up into the cab because it's right up under there. So, I'm basically waiting to actually drive it far places, like for example to the exhaust shop, to start driving it again. So I've been driving the Miata everywhere, but I figured since it needs an oil change and the Miata does as well, might as well, since I'm staying home all day, I might as well just knock it out now. It's a beautiful Saturday. It's gonna rain so I can't skate and it's my birthday so I want to kind of spend my time alone and enjoy the day 
Routine maintenance on this thing is easy because I don't even got to jack it up. It's really easy. It's really nice. I wish my Miata was that high at the end of the day, but actually don't. I like it that height. <laughs> it's You'd still have to jack it up regardless at stock height. So. All right, that should be good there. It wasn't full, so I'm going to on this two and a half gallon because that would be way too much oil to put in that thing at the end of the day i'd be overfilling it but for right now i'm not that worried about it i'll check the oil height i don't think i've overfilled it at all to be honest with you it's probably underfilled because it was only half full in that that two and a half gallon Hold on. Let's see. I don't think I had enough. Yeah, there's not enough in there. So, I'm going to go ahead. I also had to remember that I put a bigger oil filter on, so it is going to need a tad more oil. Not too much, just a tad. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. I'm always hear a train from here, I'm like Probably about three and a half, five miles from a train track. And it's always cool to hear when it's driving by. Sometimes it's mid morning. Sometimes it's really late at night. Sometimes it's throughout the day. But uh, it's pretty cool, actually. It's neat to hear it. Especially this time of year in the winter because there is no trees and stuff. You can really hear that horn going. It sounds pretty cool. Shouldn't take too much. Okay. It's always a messy job with this one. I don't do it too often. No old changes on this thing. I probably should do it more often. suck <laughs> if you hear me just talking to myself on this uh, whole video I'm just lost deep in thought sometimes I just say it on accident so Oh, my. 
this time. <laughs> and she is right at full. Perfect. All right. hurt i don't know why all right that's it there all right it's all set gonna go ahead start it up and park it won't be driving this much because of the like I said the exhaust let me go ahead and get the key and start this up for you guys you'll understand what I mean I think it's in the house too bad but it gets like not smoky but you can smell it in the cab because of the white pipe being broken or being it because of it being broken at the white pipe excuse me it uh gets a little a little interesting at times guy will call me back hopefully I'm assuming sometime next week is what he told me I don't entirely know yet uh, I'm not gonna run it much longer not really I need to that uh the exhaust is just sitting right back here until until she's done but uh that's it for today's video like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Peace out.